Hey, so welcome back. Uh, Jesse here. Uh, appreciate you visiting the uh, visiting the page, checking out my uh, my reviews and my unboxings. Um, last video was a was a router that I bought and um, it did not work. It was a failed attempt. Um, so what we're gonna unbox today is two tools that I have. I'm gonna try and make some straight cuts on some um, on some some fresh live edge boards here. If you can look, you can see. What I'm trying to do, I'm trying to accomplish this from that. Um, and what I'm going to use to do that is this DeWalt circular saw and the Craig AccuCut. Um, this is going to allow you to cut up to uh, 48 inches with two, um, two 26 and a half inch tracks. So we're going to unbox these um, and I'll have a, uh, the, the second half of this video will be about actually using those to cut um, boards and or cut slabs into uh, into usable boards all right so this particular saw is the dewalt dwe 575 sb that's the model number you will notice that um it's the same motor and there's also another uh, dwe 575 without the sb that has the same size blade same motor the only difference in this one and that one is that this one comes with a brake and then uh, also the box, it doesn't come with a contractor's bag. Um, so I want it to break, and I also want it to contractor's bag. So that's why I went with this tool. Now, I'm not a paid uh, reviewer or anything like that. I actually bought these tools myself um, to use in my, uh, my home shop here. So um, let's get this bad boy open and take a look at it. Got in the box. Owner's manual. Definitely read that before uh, before operation. Open the it's like okay. saw itself. And here is the contract bag. We have got a little bad weather coming. It's, a little, it's dark outside. If you see the uh, the lightning in the back, that's what it is. So. Contractor's back. Uh, DeWalt has, uh, has been putting these in their tools um, in lieu of the hard case, um, which I kind of like. I like the uh, I like the bag. It's pretty pretty good. Um, pretty good change, I think. Hard cases they're great, but they also take up a lot of space. All right, so we have the power cable here. Nice hard, um, strong power cable. Doesn't um, doesn't bend very easy. Get the saw out of the packaging itself. Looks like the blades protect it with the um, with the cardboard. So set seven and one fourth inch um, contraction construction blade. Uh, this definitely uh, has eighteen. It has eighteen teeth on it. And it'll definitely cut for you. Um, you may want to purchase one with more teeth on it to get you a a cleaner cut. Um, you may make this is more for uh, like for pine for ripping for rough cutting. Um, you can get one with more teeth. You have to cut a little slower, uh, but it'll also allow you to um, cut cleaner. So depending on what you're what you're trying to get accomplished, um, you can protect. You can pick the blade of your choice. All right, so here she is. Got a nice, it's uh, like a soft rubber handle here. Let's put this down. Let's go this way a bit. Soft rubber handle. You have a handle here to hold on the. Uh, on the back side or on the front side there. On the front itself, you have the lever. Allows you to release, cut angles with it. Let's release, set your angle, lock her back down. Hangs off the side. You can either hold it like this to start. Um, you see a lot of uh, a lot of contractors, people that do this for a living will do that because they don't really necessarily like the blade or the break in the way to the guard in, in the way to start with. Um, and then uh, this will uh, also move as you move forward on the cut, so you don't actually have to move it out of the way. Um, pretty cool. You notice here it has the brake, um, stops the blade. Uh, if it didn't have the brake on it, what would happen is the, the, the blade would just coast down, and you've probably seen this before or done it yourself, but uh, a lot of contractors just stick the blade on a, on a, on a piece of wood or something to get it to, um, to stop um, just for safety. 
One really cool thing about this, uh, this skill saw, I really can't wait to use it to try this out, but this right here, this little notch, that's the dust. So the, the saw dust as, it, as the blade cuts, it's gonna kick that dust out, that chute right there, kick it away from you instead of just kind of letting it, letting it fly everywhere. The blade's gonna spin and kick that dust out. So, yep, pretty, uh, pretty sweet. Couple things on the back of the saw I definitely wanna, I wanna look, I wanna check out. So this lever right here, flip it up, it's gonna allow you to change the depth of your cut, so depending on how, uh, how deep or how thick of something you wanna cut, um, allows you to get a little bit better control. Lock that back down. And then right under the, uh, the cord here, again, like I said, this is a real strong um, stout cord, so um, obviously the saw will cut it if you hit it, so try to avoid that, keep it safe. Um, but it's not gonna pull, it's not gonna rip out. So, so pretty good, pretty impressed with that. Right here is the storage for the wrench for blade changes. Um, the benefit to that is you won't lose it. It's got somewhere to put it. It won't be in your way, it won't affect you. Um, in use of the tool, and then that one time you do need it to change your blade, it's right there, right? So you're gonna forget it's there until you need it, so that's pretty awesome. Um, your other option would be to, you know, find a wrench um, or a socket to change it. So just keep that bad boy right there so you know where it's at. One more thing in reference to blade change, that's right here, button up front. This is how you lock your um, blade itself to allow you to, uh, to actually spin the, the bolt and change the blades. So that's all the components of the saw here, owner's manual, blade itself, and the DeWalt uh, contractor's bag that comes with it. So, all right, so we cut the video, uh, moved the DeWalt circular saw over to the side, and we're going to talk about the AccuCut Craig tool. So I have uh, another Craig tool. I have the Craig, um, the Craig jig for, you know, for pocket drilling holes. Uh, absolutely love it. I intend to use that in building my table as well. Um, this particular one, I'm going to unbox it and, uh, and put it together. It's going to come with three components. It's got the two tracks here. Um, once, they're both 26 and a half inches. The other, and it's going to have the, um, the, the shoe or whatever it's called that the actual saw rests in. So, I'll do this quick. Pop in this. All right, welcome back. Uh, cut the video. And, uh, and just unbox all this stuff. So, um, I said it comes with three components, which it does. Um, but there's also a second half of the, um, the, uh, the slide here. Kind of like your start, where you start your, your slide at. So, here are your two um, cuts on the back side of these. I'm really, uh, really excited to use them. So, it says that you don't actually have to clamp these, uh, these tracks down. And it actually holds on the wood with the uh, with these little rubber uh, rubber plastic pieces. I'm really excited to use that and see if that actually works. I'm sure it does. Craig makes good products. Um, so basically, these two things are going to go together. And here's your connector that slides in here on the on the back side. You pop your screws in there. Um, they look like just set screws that you uh, you put in. Weather's coming down out there, that rain. Um, and to hold this together, so I'm not gonna bore you with me turning an Allen wrench, but that, that's what she's gonna look like. All right, and then on this end is the start. And this should just kind of slide into place, like so. I even knock, we'll knock her on in there. Um, so when I use this uh, later, and I'll, I'll post another video so you can see that. Uh, but what I wanna talk about most importantly is this. This right here is the money maker. So this is the universal Craig jig, or excuse me, the universal Craig um, saw guide. So this is actually gonna go on your saw. A um, couple ways to do it. Turn it on its side, whatever the case may be. So this is gonna clip on there similar to this. Um, and I'm, I'll flip it over to show you the other side. And what this does, this runs in the track itself. So it kind of leaves it, um, you know, no question as to if you're in the right spot. So getting this thing put on there is uh, pretty simple. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to remove this, basically take my my saw all the way down so it'll, it'll sit in there real nice. So it kind of drops into place. You have these. Um, 
these little catches right here. What I'm going to do is loosen them. They spin around and they kind of clip on here. To, uh, to hold this into place. I'm just going to do one right now just for the demo purposes. I think I'm doing the wrong one. Now. All right, so that, uh, that holds on to there. This is your guide, um, should be adjustable, and it's got a little slot there, you can slide it in, and slide that over, um, tighten that bad boy down, I'm actually going to probably spin this around, try to loosen that a little bit more, move it around, I'll probably stick it right on there into place. Um, so yeah, and then this will run along the tracks, kind of gives you a... Um, a little line there, it shows you where you're cutting. But most importantly, what you're gonna do is you're gonna use the side of this. Um, so once you run the, the blade down there, it actually may cut this just a little bit on your, on your blue edge. And that is exactly where your saw blade is. And as long as you use the same saw, you don't change anything, um, that's where your saw blade's gonna be every time. You can use this, these block right here and adjust it uh, left and right just a little bit. Um, if you want it, you know, butt it right up next there next to it and uh and use that so uh this is just the unpacking this isn't a review this isn't any of that uh so we're unpacked we generally have it have it connected rough um definitely not ready to cut yet um and i'll i'll sure up all that stuff get her tightened down um read the owner's manual make sure you're following everything uh, appropriately and um i'll come back with another video and and post as to uh, actual use of, of these two tools together, um, cutting live edge boards, um, giving me a straight edge, something I can use to make uh, make a table with, and that's that's a project I have going on right now. I'll post uh, post a video of the finished table, and I'm hoping to post videos throughout the whole process of the uh, of the table, um, not just uh, just tools that I've bought. Um, so feel free to subscribe. Keep uh, I'll try and keep you up to date um, as the table builds goes. Um, any questions, any concerns, comments, anything you see, um, any input you might want to give me, please comment below. Um, I'll be happy to help. Uh, do keep in mind that I'm buying all these tools, so, so don't tell me to go buy a bunch of stuff and give you reviews because I can't do that. Um, yeah, thank you for your time. Uh, look forward to uh, you viewing some of the other stuff.